I'm here with Sasha Dalek, uh, it's a regional director, Central Europe for Winter Motels and Resort. Sasha, thank you so much for taking the time sitting down with me. Thank you very much, Leah. My pleasure. Yeah, we're here at Swiss Innovation Day and a topic we hear about all the time. We have heard about this before the crisis, but it's intensifying currently, is the shortage of labor in hospitality. What would you say, Sasha, for winter motels? What are the main challenges you're currently facing? We, we do face absolutely the same situation as everyone is, so it's, it's not a new story. Um, it began a few years back when we were talking about this, this labor shortage, but it's uh, getting really intense following the, the crisis. So we lost uh, a lot of teams um, on front offices, services, and um, I have the feeling that, that due to this pandemic we stole the, the purpose of life, of, of the daily work. And uh, right now it's quite hard to see if, if there is a possibility to get those people back into work, get them back to the hotels. A lot of them uh, retained completely from the hospitality industry, which is a mess. Uh, and, and what we found within Germany, Dach area, is that uh, roughly 15% of the full-time employees left. And it's not counted in um, what is with the mini-jobbers, what is with half-time workers and so on. So we have a huge uh, gap in between op reopening the hotels and having the right persons being at the front desks again. Yes, so, so we are really in this all together with all our partners and, and we face it in all different regions. And what would you say in your opinion, how could technology be of support in tackling this challenge? Um, it could be in, in terms of repetitive tasks, and, and there is a lot. So what we do see in front of us is um, in, in check-in processes, like um, we look for, for online check-in solutions within um, our network and within our um, environment. And um, this comes to a point where, where the whole tech stack needs to have a certain level of acceptance within the hotels and with the guests as well. I do see that a lot of guests um, are right now going to technology, they are more used to it due to this pandemic. So, so it was a shift that we do see coming uh, to the hotels right now. And I believe that an online check-in, check-out is something that would be quite helpful for, for the teams if it's working in the very, very best way. So, so it doesn't have to be like it was in the past, where it was something like a, like a workaround. So it should be possible to really have a full access, online check-in, go into your room, opening the room with your phone. So not have the need to be at the reception anymore and really have, have the team um, in, in the possibility to be hosted again. And this is the, the vision we are following. I, I do believe that there is a lot. Um, you can um, come to, to the robot sections where we're talking here about right. as well. Is, is there probably a service robot that could be um, an, an added value to, to a brand, to an economy brand, for example, where we do create a new service that hasn't been there before. It would be really recognized by the guests and at the same time it is um, a pleasure for, for the team to, to be at the reception, be at their workstation and being able to be host exactly where they are and don't have to run after all the requests our guests do have and, and we need to fulfill these requests. And I know you're very passionate about the human talent overall and um, you're very active and engaged as mm -hmm. well in projects around this. So what would you say are the key aspects you should consider for a sustainable human uh, talent strategy for a company like Wintem, for example? Um, in, in my very own opinion, you, you have to create your own values for, for each brand. And for, for Windham, we, we do have um, some, some great values around. And it is um, interesting to spread it within the uh, network of your hotels. As this is a made franchise environment, it's not so easy to give your values out and, and retrieve it in the same way from, from all those partners around. But we have to have a common approach in there. And this is in terms of salaries. Are we paying fair salaries? Are we having fair work hours? Hours. Are we really looking after our staff, training them in the very best way? And this could lead to a situation where we would be way ahead of the competition, way ahead of, of the other hotels and being able to keep our very best staff within our hotels. Right. Thank you, Sasha, for taking the time and I wish you a great uh, reminder of this conference. Thank you very much, Leah. Yeah. See you. Thank, Thank you. you.